Welcome to Web Style Press. How to count specific characters from a given string in JavaScript. Let's say we have a variable named as string containing some text as its value. We can check if it contains a specific character like string dot includes for character E. It is true because string has character E in it. But remember that it's case sensitive. Capital W false for lowercase w true. If we apply for of loop through the string, let characters of string console log characters. We get the characters separately. It loops through all characters in this string, even blank spaces. So instead of string, if we have an array of items or characters, we can loop through those items as well. For example, using this technique, let's count the number of vowel characters in a string. Or let's write a function that returns the number of vowels used in a string. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, vowels are the characters A, E, I, O and U. To count number of vowel characters from a string, first let's declare a function. Initially count is 0, value of count will be incremented as we find more characters. At the end this value will be returned. Return count. Here function will return the final count. Function call with argument that is the string or word or words that we are counting vowel number from. Declare a variable containing an array of vowels. Then use for of loop for let characters of txt. txt is function parameter that we are using. Use to lowercase method to correctly match vowels from this array. Characters W E B For each character in string, search for a vowel. If there is match, increase the count. And then return count here. Because W E B has only one vowel, we get one. Now we get 3 because E is used 3 times in this string and E is a vowel. So this is one way of counting specific characters from string. In this case, vowels. We can also use a regular expression or rejects to do similar thing. For example, declare another function, trigger function containing string or required text that is this one. Regular expression match should look like this. It should match any of these characters. In regular expression, the G modifier specifies a global match. A global match finds all matches and this I makes the match case insensitive. So store the regular expression matches in the variable matches. Then Return the count of matches if there is any or return zero if there are not any matches. This is ternary operator. As you can see case insensitive match from the string is three because it has got E three times in it. This is also a quick way to find and count specific characters from a string. And this is how you can loop through a string or items of array to count or get specific characters or use regular expression to do the same. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.